YouTube. This is uh, JD's Homegrown More. Uh, doing a quick video on the uh, Eastwood TIG 200. Uh, I picked this up uh, a couple uh, months ago. Uh, <clears throat> it's actually a decent TIG welder for the price. It was like $800, all said and done, to the house, shipped, everything. That being said, let's uh, let's get right into uh, what all comes with it. Uh, we'll start off first. This is the uh, the ground cl uh, ground clamp, which the actual ground clamp is actually really nice itself. The part that goes into the welder, I wish they would have went with something a little bit more bigger gauge, but uh, it is what it is. It actually it actually holds up to uh, the amperages that you use on it. So, I mean, it goes up to 200 amps and it works. I just wish it was a little bit bigger. You know, go big or go home. What are you gonna do? Uh, go around in the foot pedal here. Comes with a nice long cord. I actually, uh, this cord is actually two cords and they keep it like that. I actually used uh, hockey tape and uh, about every, I don't know, 10 inches or so, I taped hockey tape around the cores to keep them together, to keep them in, you know, in the one solid uniform uh, cord there. But uh, uh, this foot pedal here, it goes to, uh, I hope you can see that, it goes to uh, 200 amps. Now you can set it to wherever you want. You know, hit down the foot pedal, you floor it to wherever you set it, it's going to hit that amperage. Foot pedal's pretty nice. The ends are a little, you know, they're kind of generic, but, you know, as long as you take care of it, they'll work and they'll, they'll keep working. Oh, what's next? Uh, the regulator and the hose on it. It's kind of short. But then again, you're probably going to put this on a cart, have your own rolling cart, and it's not going to be that far away, so it's not going to be a big deal. But then we come to the regulator. The regulator's not the best. So if you get one of these, you're probably going to want to upgrade the regulator. I mean, it works okay for what you're doing. It's a little hard to adjust. It's very sensitive. So that being said, you might want to upgrade that. Ugh. Go to the TIG torch. The actual torch and the hose. The torch itself is all standard. So, standard cups, collets, uh, uh, tails, everything's going to work on this thing. So, anything you can buy off of, you know, eBay, you know, try to buy in bulk. It's all standard. It's all gonna work. It's it's all the right stuff. That's what's nice about this. It's also got finger trigger, which when you set the amps on the actual machine, if you're not using the foot pedal, you can set it to wherever you want, like 80 there. As soon as you hit the trigger, that thing's gonna be putting out 80 amps right out of the work. Which is kind of cool. I honestly, I haven't used this yet. I'm I always use a foot pedal. I'm a welder by trade, so I don't ever use this. If it was a thumb throttle, I would use it. Which I'm probably going to try to convert this to a thumb throttle instead of using the foot pedal all the time. Because you're in tight spots, and you can't use your feet all the time if you're crawling or something. You want that thumb throttle? That's awesome. But uh, a nice feature on it. Uh, the back end of the uh, hose here is uh, just your uh, female adapter plugs right in the front of the machine. It's actually that's actually pretty nice. And then uh, for your uh, finger control it is the same hookup as one of the prongs of the foot pedal, which, like I said. If you uh, treat your stuff right, it'll last. 
Okay, moving on. What you will need to run this is obviously a bottle of argon. Straight argon, compressed gas. You guys probably already know this, but for the people who don't know this, if you get an air gas around you, you pick one of these up. I think I paid 120 bucks for this. The whole bottle filled, everything that's leasing it. And then back to the actual machine here. So, hopefully you guys can see here. Move this for a little bit. This machine does run on 110 R220. That's what's nice about it. I haven't ran it on 110 yet. And uh, maybe part two, I will run it on 110 and show you. I'll put it up to 200 amps on 110 and 220. And I'll run the foot control and I'll, I'll floor it and show you the comparison on what you can do with that. But the uh, standard 220 plug comes right on it. You actually do get an adapter piece that this plugs into that's a 110 outlet plug on the other side. I actually uh, took that and actually cut that apart to run that into the breaker box. And actually plug this into the breaker box for a 220. Kind of modified it. But uh, moving on here, this is the uh, screw on piece for your TIG torch. As you went over them before, the screws in here. Just like that, you have your ground piece, pops right in there, twists to the right, locks, at your ground, uh, and these are both your uh, ports for your foot switch or your switch on the uh, TIG torch. We have pre-flow here, which which uh, flows gas before you weld, which is the 0.1 seconds to one second you can flow before you weld. So if you go full throttle there, it'll flow one second before the actual arc will start. And then you got your post flow from two seconds all the way to eight seconds. So when you let off the foot pedal or the trigger, it'll flow for two to eight seconds, depending on what you want. And then uh, the top here, top left here, is uh, amps. Go from zero all the way to 200. And this is only used if you use the trigger on the torch. You only use this. If you have your foot pedal plugged in, this means nothing. It could be the two. It could actually be at 200, and it would be nothing because the foot pedal would actually control that. <clears throat> and then you got your uh, <clears throat> clearance effect, which that is uh, for aluminum, basically. And uh, I'm not going to get into that right now. But uh, on the other top part here, you got your foot pedal or panel control. Which is the big thing. When you put your foot pedal in, you put it for foot control, and then it goes to foot control. Panel control, that does the amps up here at the top, like I said before. And then uh, AC and DC. So when you're doing aluminum, obviously AC, DC, stainless steel, mild steel, that sort of application. But uh, it's pretty nice. Let me show you the back of the machine here. Nice thick cord. What the hell is this? Let me, uh, hadn't read this before, but it's a uh, tall 12 gauge by 3.31 millimeters. That's the cord that's going in. And then you got your uh, argon hookup for your regulator. That screws right in there. This goes in your tank. Nice little, uh, it's actually like a breaker switch. It's not even actually like a switch, it's actually like a breaker. Turn the machine on and off. And uh, that's about it.
Uh, next video we'll be uh, we'll be firing up 110 and then uh, 220, and we'll do a little bit of uh, comparisons between the two, and we'll go from there. All right, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like this video.